So obviously you guys saw the fight last night and Canelo Alvarez was upset by Dimitri Bivol. Uh, I don't think this is as big as an upset as people, you know, the casual fan may have been making it out to be. I had said that this is a 50-50 fight. I could easily see Dimitri Bivol winning and he did. I Although I did pick Canelo to win by decision to be fair, I did see a possibility of Dimitri Bivol winning and he did. You know, the way the fight went is, first of all, Canelo Alvarez came in at 174 pounds and a quarter at the weigh-in. I thought that was a mistake. You should have came in 172, 171, just to keep your speed advantage. I felt like he did look sluggish. His head movement was not as much as I've seen it in the past. He's always had slow feet, which is why I, I gave Bavol a very big chance of beating him. Uh, he just kind of just kept... Kept Canelo at distance where he can land his punches, but Canelo can't. And anytime Canelo would jump in, he would just kind of step out and, and, and move and glide around the ring. Canelo was resulting to punching him in the arm, trying to wear that arm out, kind of like how he did with Callum Smith. I think Canelo was thinking like, listen, I'm going to just keep punching that arm, punching that arm to the point he's not going to want to jab. And, and that arm is going to be too hurt for him to use it. But... Dimitri Bivol fought through the pain. He even said after the fight, he goes, oh, man, my arm hurts. Like, he had his belt. He's like, oh, somebody hold my, my belt. I don't need to hold it. And he and, and when Chris Mannix uh, asked him, was he hurt at any point of the time of the fight? He said, yeah, his arm hurt. So Canelo was hurting Bivol, but not necessarily scoring on him. He wasn't necessarily landing clean, crisp punches to the body and to the head. He just kept landing to that arm. Yes, he did land some punches himself, but... Not enough to, to win uh, 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 to win a decision, to be honest with you. And I think he bit off more than he can chew. He fought the bigger guy, taller guy, guy who has superior uh, footwork, a superior jab. And uh, yeah, he just got he just got beat clearly. I, I, the scorecards, they had all three judges had a seven to five for Bavo. That wasn't a seven to five fight. Uh, the fight was much wider than that. Dimitri Bavo clearly won this fight, deservedly so. Where each of them go from here, Canelo says he has a rematch clause and he's going to exercise it and that this doesn't stay like that. You know, he wants his get back. And Dimitri Bravol said, he's, hey, if he's going to get this rematch, he wants to be treated like a champion. That he is. And he is the champion. He's the defending champion going into the ring. A lot of people, the casual fans may have thought that Canelo was the champion, but that's not the case. So the rematch, I, I personally, if I'm Canelo, I move on from that. You're not beating that guy, man. That guy's too tall, too fast. And, and when I say fast, I mean footwork fast. And he's just not in your division. You know what I'm saying? If he was in your division, I could understand you trying to get your get back. Go back down to 168, fight Triple G, fight somebody else, uh, 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 you know, Charlo and, and Benavidez and, and Andre. There's another fight. This fight's in your division. I don't understand why he moved up he had unfinished business in his weight class and he decided to move up listen i'm a canelo fan everybody who watches the channel knows that but i thought it was a stupid decision to fight bavo and uh yeah stupid decisions give you give you results like this you know what i'm saying but uh i, I it was a overall confusing fight to, to 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 watch because canelo just seemed out of out of tricks at times, he was on the ropes just chilling, waiting for Bavo to make the fight. And Bavo was just like, all right, I've been winning this round. Now you want to stay on the ropes to try to make this a war for me to give up my height advantage, but I'm not going to do that. Bavo's not worried about making a fight exciting. He was just like, okay, just standing there while Canelo was giving up the round, staying on the ropes at times. And again, the biggest difference in this fight was the footwork. The fact that Dimitri Bavo was able to step back and far enough distance where Canelo's short arms and short height can't reach him was the biggest difference in this fight. But all right, guys, that's my video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, hit the like button and follow me on Twitter at underscore Broadway Joel. But all right, guys, until next time. Peace.